and welcome to the Freehold Township International Baccalaureate Diploma Program Virtual Celebration Video. I'm Mr. Dillon, IB Coordinator, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to celebrate this important milestone for our graduating class of 2020. We, the faculty and administration at Freehold Township, want to wish you, the class of 2020, our sincerest congratulations on completing the program. Your graduating class, comprised of 20 amazingly talented and dedicated students, represents all we strive to build as an IB community. You are passionate learners, deeply enthusiastic about your studies, and the results speak for themselves. Your class averaged a 4.9 GPA throughout high school, averaged an impressive 1350 on your SATs, and amassed over $3 million in scholarship offers from highly competitive colleges and universities across the country. You are fearless innovators, bringing improvements to our program, such as the IB Council, our first IB apparel fundraiser, and team building events, such as the Liberty Lake field trip and IB holiday party. Your class has so many wonderful, unique, and memorable traits, but your group's defining characteristic has to be its unity the source of strength you gain from each other in the face of many challenges. From your first days in the program, we recognized your collaborative spirit and supportive nature. Qualities we hope to cultivate in all students, but ones that appeared innate in you. You were a special class. You genuinely cared for each other and took equal, if not greater pleasure in seeing your classmates succeed over merely striving for personal accolades. You were the group that celebrated together, whether chipping in to order a custom-made extended essay cake, getting dressed to the nines to support your classmates' art exhibition, or enthusiastically participating in each other's cast projects throughout the two years. You found joy in embracing each other and your collective learning. Whether you were wise enough to recognize it early in the program or can only appreciate it now through the perspective of time, this unity also provided you the strength to succeed. It helped you persevere through what, under normal circumstances, would be challenging enough, the most rigorous high school program available. Your circumstances were anything but normal though. The class of 2020 will always be defined in part by the unprecedented challenge of COVID-19, one that unjustly robbed you of so many deserved senior experiences, from your IB exams to your senior prom, and of course, your IB banquet. As days spent in remote learning turned to weeks and months, it would have been easy to lose sight of the unity that made your class so special. Through it all though, you remained true to your collaborative and supportive spirit, not looking to lay blame or wallow in misfortune, but instead seizing the opportunity to respond with resounding positivity. Whether continuing to serve your families and community, engaging in social media campaigns to raise awareness and activism concerning the crises of our times, or simply producing a kind-hearted and thoughtful teacher appreciation video, you found ways to remain selfless and united in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic, a fact that continues to inspire us all. Thank you for inspiring me personally and showing me that our future, that of our community and our world, is left in great hands. As you go forward in your studies and lives, never lose sight of the invaluable lessons and experiences you've had here at Freehold Township. I have no doubt that you will bring the same remarkable zest for learning and fearless spirit to the challenges you face next. These challenges will undoubtedly be varied for each of you and, as with our present circumstances, often hard to predict. But no matter how great or insurmountable they may seem, Remember, your individual and collective strength allows you to accomplish anything. Your social circles will surely get larger as you go off to various schools across the country, and you'll make new friends and build new lasting relationships. But I encourage you to maintain the tight bond you've created with one another, a bond that comes from a shared experience that will forever be a part of you. Just as you left an indelible mark on each other, know that you had an effect on your teachers too. Last month, your class created and shared a video to say thank you to your teachers during Teacher Appreciation Week. Please enjoy their response. 
That video meant so much to us. And it was just another example of your selfless and caring spirit. When you could have focused on the unfortunate circumstances of what you've been dealt. Having missed out on so many experiences and milestones during the past few months. You instead thought of us, your teachers. And we, the IB faculty and administration, would like to say to you. The feeling is mutual. You are so appreciated. Teaching you has been an absolute pleasure. Your passion and great potential motivated us to be the best teachers we could be. So we would like to say thank you. Thank you for coming to school every day committed to learning. Thank you for being enthusiastic about our classes and assignments. Thank you for tackling the extended essay and doing some really great independent research. Thank you for embracing CAS and participating in so many sports, clubs, and other activities. And on so many great projects to better our community. Thank you for constantly questioning why and examining knowledge with a critical eye. Thank you for bringing your sense of humor to class and laughing with us often. Thank you for entrusting us with your education. And thank you for believing in yourself in the face of many challenges. You overcame so many obstacles throughout your time at Freehold Township High School. Some anticipate it, like the rigor of the IB program. And some unforeseeable, like COVID-19 on the impact of your senior year. But through it all, you demonstrated strength and courage in the face of adversity. Thank you for inspiring us with your strength. Now, more than ever, the world needs a generation committed to making it a better place. And we can't think of a more capable group to answer that call. Thank you for all you've done and all you will continue to do to better our world. Thank, Thank you, you from the from bottom, the bottom of, our of our hearts. Thank you, Thank you from, from the bottom, bottom of our hearts. hearts. And thank, thank you from the, from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Congratulations and best wishes, IB Diploma Class of 2020. I hope you enjoyed that special message from your teachers and administrators. At this time, We'd like to recognize each of you, our IB class of 2020. Zanab Abidi, member of our Latin Honor Society and Taekwondo enthusiast. Next year, Zanab will enter the Business Honors and Baccalaureate Honors programs at Reiner University, majoring in healthcare management. Jordan Avalone, member of the Spanish Club and the FTHS band. She will be attending the Honors College at Westchester University to study pharmaceutical product development. Juliana Burns, active in Relay for Life, Drama, and Latin Club. Next year, she will attend the University of South Carolina, majoring in history on a pre-law track. Catherine Carfagno, active in cross country, track and field, student government association, Leaders for Diversity, Spanish Club, and Drama. She will attend the Honors Freshman Research Immersion Program at Binghamton University, majoring in Integrative Neuroscience. Caitlin Chang, active in tennis, track, drama, Latin Club, and DECA. She will attend Northeastern University, majoring in Business Administration with a concentration in Finance and International Business. Isar Dashi, member of DECA, Consumer Bowl, Future Business Leaders for America, and Team Challenge, as well as rowing through a private club. He will attend Stevens Institute of Technology on a pre-med track. Mallory Fitzhenry, active in swimming, softball, drama, and Latin club. She will attend Boston College next year to st study biological sciences on a pre-med track. Joanne Garcia, Pareja, a member of Spanish Honor Society who participated in Girl Up and Cookies for a Cause. She will attend Ryder University, majoring in biology with a possible double major in business. 
Julia Gasarowski, who participated in Drama Club and Relay for Life. She will attend Villanova University, double majoring in accounting and criminology with the hopes of becoming a forensic accountant. Vida Khan, member of Speech and Debate, editor of our school's literary magazine, and member of the IB Council. Next year, she will be attending UCLA to study biology. David Lagos, active in Students Helping Honduras, Chess Club, and the Patriot Warrior Club. Next year, he will attend Brookdale to study biology in hopes of becoming an orthopedic spinal surgeon. Connor Latona, active in soccer, Relay for Life, and the IB Council. He will attend Bowdoin College, majoring in economics. Sarah Helena Maripodi, member of the St. Rose Vocal and Bell Choir, cross country, track and field, and the IB Council. After entering the workforce, she'll pursue pre-law with a minor in psych and economics in hopes of becoming an international lawyer. Elizabeth Mays, active in Relay for Life, Drama, Softball, and We Are One. She will attend the University of South Carolina Capstone Scholars Program next year. Kushi Parikh, member of the swim team, junior statesman of America, and We Are One. She will be attending Rutgers University, majoring in cell biology and neuroscience with the intention of going to medical school. Dylan Park, active in drama and the stage crew. She will be attending Bryn Mawr College, majoring in either archeology span or anthropology in hopes of becoming an archeologist. Alexandra Reyes, captain of the swim team and board member of Students Helping Honduras, Student Government Association, and Seeds of Africa. She'll enter the Honors College at Temple University as a public health major and Spanish minor. Sam Savariano, a member of Student Government, Habitat for Humanity, and Drama Club. She will attend American University, majoring in Justice and Law with plans to go to law school. Gianna Safrisi, active in varsity bowling, student government, National Honor Society, Latin Honor Society, and Latin Club. She will be attending Boston University, double majoring in mathematics and computer science. Douglas Souza, active in swimming, students helping Honduras, Spanish Club, and DECA. He will attend Stevens Institute of Technology next year to study biomedical engineering, research and development. Congratulations to the entire class of 2020, a truly remarkable group of students. Now we'd like to recognize the winners of three distinct awards given to IB students. The first is the Extended Essay Award. The recipient of this award is chosen by the EE coordinator and EE supervisor for the student that produces exceptional work on the extended essay a person who embraced the challenge and opportunity to do independent research, resulting in exemplary writing. Dylan Park, this year's recipient, wrote an in-depth analysis of the many allusions in Shelley's Frankenstein, most notably those made to Milton's Paradise Lost, developing insightful and original assertions in her analysis of the classic Gothic novel. In the words of her EE advisor, Mrs. Richardson, her writing was, quote, on another level, equivalent of high-level college coursework. Well done, Dylan, and congratulations on the much-deserved award. The second award is our CAS Award, given to the student who embraces the spirit of CAS, creativity, action, and service, completing varied and fulfilling experiences while also completing a meaningful and well-designed CAS project. Voted on by the IB CAS advisors, this year's winner is Elizabeth Mays. Liz worked in various service projects in her church's youth group, collaborated to organize a successful Relay for Life event, and performed random acts of kindness throughout the two-year program. She was highly active in softball and other athletic pursuits, and she honed her creativity through participation in stage crew, learning Italian, and experimenting in art, among other avenues. 
The balance of her experiences demonstrated a strong commitment to IB's belief of being a well-rounded student. Congratulations, Liz, and well done. The third and final award goes to the IB Patriot Scholar winner. Voted on by the IB faculty, the IB Patriot Scholar Award is given to a student who embraces the qualities of the IB learner profile and demonstrates overall excellence in his or her studies. This year's award goes to Connor Latona. He embraced all aspects of an IB education, maintaining excellence in the classroom while contributing greatly to our school community. A member of the program's inaugural IB Council, he led many initiatives, organizing fundraisers and events for his IB classmates. His work with Relay for Life helped to raise thousands of dollars for the American Cancer Society, and he was a member of our highly competitive Division A North Champion Boys Soccer Team. Congratulations, Connor, on this distinguished award. As the IB Patriot Scholar Award winner, Connor would like to address you, his fellow classmates, as you close one chapter in your lives and eagerly look to the next. Hi, everyone. Now, I would have liked to give this speech in person at our banquet, but I guess this video is going to have to do. First, I would like to thank Mr. Dillon for putting this video together and for making an incredible effort to celebrate each of our graduating IB seniors over the past few weeks. I would also like to thank him for presenting me the IB award at the awards banquet and for my thoughtful introduction. I really appreciate it. So for all of you that don't know, we have had an iMessage group chat with everyone in IB since pre-IB started four years ago with the original name of pre-IB babies. You all might make fun of me for this, but when someone changed the name about a week ago to IB Graduating, it made me a little sad. It tugged at the heartstrings a little bit. The new name made me reflect on how far we've come from those little pre-IB babies. When we made the leap into junior year, we became strong IB babies. Then when Corona hit near the end of senior year, we were all IB quarantined. And finally, as we will virtually graduate in a couple of days, we are now IB Graduating. And as I thought about these past few years, the first thing that came to my mind was the sense of community that we have fostered and the bond that we have all share, that we all share and have shared throughout all of high school, with it progressively getting stronger as every year passed. In my mind, there are two main pillars that allow our IB community to stand as strong as it does, the faculty and the students. And by faculty, I mean all of our amazing teachers, Mr. Dillon, and of course, Mrs. Mayer. So I'm going to start off with our incredible IB faculty. The reason this program continues to shape such dedicated, hardworking, and compassionate students who have a passion for learning year after year is because we respect how dedicated, hardworking, and compassionate you all are towards us. I think I speak for all of us when I say that I have never had teachers that care so much about their students and their learning, learning experience as much as all the IB teachers do. And to all of the IB faculty, we truly appreciate how you go to all lengths to provide us with the best education and overall high school experience that you possibly can. Believe me, it does not go unnoticed. Now I'm going to share a little story about one teacher that emulates the nature of every single teacher in IB. So halfway into junior year, many of us had to switch over from AP Micro to IB Art as our year and a half art class was about to commence. And contrary to what you might think of a high school student making this switch, I was completely dreading leaving micro to go into art. I did not like any aspect about the arts, and I'm sure Sam, Kate, Sarah, Lena, and Reardon can all tell you how much I complained every day when leaving physics about going to my least favorite class every time we had art for the first couple of weeks. And I'm pretty sure Mr. Snedden, or Sned, Snedster, Sned Dog, Sneddy Wop, or any of the other countless names we had for him, caught on fairly quickly that I did not want to be in art. As the course began, Sned worked with me and opened, opened up my eyes to the fact that there is always something in art that anyone can find an interest in. Eventually, he showed me how I can incorporate both my interests of woodworking and photography into the course. And throughout the year and a half, he constantly gave me the confidence in my artwork I needed, and more importantly, led me to change my mind about the class and develop an appreciation for not only woodworking and photography, but also every aspect of the arts. And as you all have spent way too much time with me over the past four years, you know how stubborn I can be about changing my mind about something. So with that in mind, the fact that Sned cared so much about my learning experience in art class that he was able to make it go from being my least favorite class 
to now probably my favorite, is truly an incredible feat. So thank you, Mr. Sneddon, for the impact you had on my high school career. I will always appreciate it. And the amazing thing is that I could share stories like that about every teacher and faculty member in IB because they all embody that same caring nature for their students. However, I'm not going to do that because this video would go on for days if I shared every example of one of our teachers caring about us. So next, I'm going to move on to the other essential pillar of our IB community, the students. When I entered pre-IB sophomore year, my attitude towards the program and the people was completely different than what it is today. Three years ago, I was very hesitant when it came to immersing myself into the community, and I isolated myself to a certain extent. I put up barriers instead of just letting everyone in. Then, at the IB Christmas party later that year, Mallory, a fellow IB graduate and my girlfriend at the time, convinced me to just be myself and let down any ridiculous barriers I had put up. And I know this probably sounds cliche, but literally from that night on, my whole experience in IB changed. I wholeheartedly embraced the IB community, and I quickly began to realize how similar they all were to myself, and how amazing each individual was. As I look back, on this, as, I look back as a senior, I really can't see myself creating my high school experience with any other group of people. All 20 of us come together to create such a unique dynamic in and out of the classroom. And as I sat here and tried to figure out how to explain the connection we all share, there was one person that came to mind that truly embodies all the qualities that make up our program. He demonstrates our care for one another, our hardworking nature, and our desire to learn. Let's be honest, we all strive to be like David in one way or another. At this year's IB Christmas party, David brought a whole sack filled with gifts for each person in IB. Not only did he buy everyone just any gift, but he bought a different personalized gift for each of us. And for a more personal showcase of David's character, Last month on my birthday, he sent me a poem he had written. And for those of you who don't know, David is an amazing poet. And it was, it was about my dog who passed away a few months earlier. David knew how hard this was for me and took it upon himself to use his talents to do something nice for me. He even incorporated into the poem something I had said one time about looking behind me when pulling out of my driveway, even though I knew my dog would not be there. That, that right there is what our IB cohort is all about. The care we have for one another is unmatched. And I use David as an example, but all 20 of us share all of those same qualities in some shape or form, and that is why this class is so special. Our whole IB community, faculty and students combined, is truly like no other, and I honestly see all of you as a second family. The amount of time we have all spent with each other over these past four years is probably unhealthy, and it's funny that it used to be something that we would complain about, and then when our when our time together was taken away from us thanks to Corona, it made us realize how much we actually appreciated the time we spent with each other. We did not get to enjoy our last months of school relaxing after exams, and we did not get to sit in class with each other knowing it was our last time. But nothing will ever break the bond that we all share as a little IB cohort. We have been told by so many people that there is something special about this IB class, and it is true. Each and every one of you are truly incredible people who are smart, kind, compassionate, hardworking, strong-willed, and ambitious individuals who will undoubtedly be leaders in all walks of life in the future. We have left a mark on this school, and I know we will leave an even bigger mark on this world. I will truly miss every single one of you next year, and I can't wait to see you all when we can celebrate in person. Thank you. Thank you, Connor, for those thoughtful reflections and for embodying the true spirit of an IB education. At this time, we would like to conclude our virtual ceremony by looking back over a collection of your memories and experiences. Please enjoy the following slideshow. I hope it brings you a sense of pride and fondness for what you've accomplished. From all of us within the IB faculty and staff, congratulations on this remarkable milestone in your lives and best of luck in your bright futures.
Thank you.